The controversy over Southwestern University, Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine in the Asner's family, has affected the students most while publicly dragging along a few faculty, non-Asner's, and students to add some aroma to play the show. In the overall view, Southwestern University, Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine, is on the front page and many students have been trapped to either default to pay allegiance to Southwestern University, Matthias H. Asner Memorial, or align with the Mother Southwestern University itself. We, the students, have been very much disturbed and feel that the endeavors we have invested in our medical careers may be in peril. Regardless of the magnitude of pain and fury sustained amidst this controversy, our parents and us are the most traumatized as these issues continue to drag. Although the cause of the fight is generally money amongst the Asners, the complexity of the core issue still remains a mystery to many students. Furthermore, the students are less interested to get involved into this matter, again to protect any interruptions that may delay them from finishing their medical degrees on time. In search of the truth, that which entity is indeed legally accredited and licensed, Students may either choose to close their ears to secure personal objectives or open their ears for explanations and clarity, a freedom very much advocated by the Southwestern University management, but opposed by the Matthias H. Asner Memorial Group. Given this fear, the forefront runners of Southwestern University Matthias H. Asner Memorial are disseminating information in the Facebook. Unfortunately, the Facebook belongs to one group Matthias H. Asner Memorial, and any comments of correction to Matthias H. Asner Memorial's propaganda are quickly deleted, making the whole page a one-man show and undemocratic. Quite apparent, this contention may have existed time immemorial within the Asner's clan before it went rampant early in 2014. The students are indeed caught in crossfire that victimized us without cause, and it happened during our final examinations. Some of us had to finish writing the finals in various locations in the city, a condition that was not conducive for better scores. We in Southwestern University College of Medicine, having based our decisions on valid, legal, and historic documents that exist in the university archive, we feel being prejudiced and oppressed in that Ched Regional Office 7 has indirectly contributed much harm to our psychosomatic distress by seemingly siding with Southwestern University, Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine, rather than acting as a neutral, monitoring, and regulatory body. Moreover, in spite of the fact that Southwestern University also sent a letter to Ched Regional Office 7 regarding this dispute, the Regional Office openly decided to ignore our side an act of dishonesty and favoritism. Allow me to explain to you from the beginning of what exactly happened. I will show you real facts and documents. You can even download the link of the original file for your own reference. In 1946, Southwestern Colleges was created. In 1951, Southwestern Colleges started accepting first-year medical students. In that same year, they were given the first permit in order to start accepting first-year medical students. In 1952, Southwestern Colleges was given the second permit in order to start accepting second-year medical students. In 1953, Southwestern Colleges was given the third permit in order to start accepting third-year medical students. And in 1954, Southwestern Colleges was given the final permit and government recognition in order to confer the degree of Doctor of Medicine. March 9, 1954, Government Recognition No. 1, Series of 1954, was issued to Southwestern Colleges. This is the original laminated document that was the basis of accrediting Southwestern University to confer a Doctor of Medicine, MD, degree. It is very much disputed nowadays, but still holds unshakable authority for decision making. It is the oldest, dating 1954, and may still be the only one out there that grants Southwestern Colleges, now Southwestern University, the right to run the College of Medicine. There is no other document of the same capacity. Not even Matthias H. Asner Memorial Foundation or CHED can provide an updated proof of document which may have replaced this document. Then it is imperative that this document remains the basis to command the direction of decision. Let's examine this document. It is stipulated, moreover, 
that the authority hereby granted does not extend to any branch of the said school, whether located in the same municipality or city, or in other municipalities or cities, nor to any other course, grade, or curriculum year. Ched was misled into believing that because of Republic Act 6055 that Southwestern University College of Medicine has converted into a non-stock corporation pursuant to the law, but the truth is, it remains part of Southwestern University. What happened in 1970, the Asner family created a foundation which is the Southwestern University Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine Foundation Incorporated, which is separate from Southwestern University Incorporated. In 1970, there was no seating nor any vesting of any rights from Southwestern to Matthias H. Asner Memorial. So the assets and properties of Stock Corporation was not given to the non-Stock Corporation. When Matthias H. Asner Memorial Foundation was created, it merely operates the College of Medicine upon authority given by Southwestern University. Let's take a look at the Asner genealogy. Don Matias H. Asnar and Donya Nonshashon Asnar had nine children. Six of them had already passed, but there are three remaining in the second generation. They are Elma Sierra, Merlo Asnar, and Marilo Asnar. They manage the Matias H. Asnar Memorial College of Medicine Foundation, Incorporated. The third generation Asnars are Dr. Peter Asnar and Andrew Asnar, Maurice Hathaway, George Asnar, Anna Amarillo, Vermer Veles, and Alexander Asnar. At the time before the controversy started, they were the members of the board. They are the managers and board of directors and chairman of Southwestern University and the dean of Southwestern University College of Medicine. In 2010, the Asner family have decided that the corporation shall be run and managed by all nine family members, with each family member having one representative. As a result of that agreement, they elected the officers of the Board of Trustees in Matthias H. Asner Memorial Foundation, Incorporated. The agreement to have nine Board of Trustees of Matthias H. Asner Memorial Foundation was participated and even agreed upon by Elma Sierra and Marilo Asner. In fact, they have participated in many proceedings thereafter. It was a few months after when they started to have the idea that Matthias H. Asner Memorial should be a separate entity and that the composition is incorrect based on the bylaws, so they filed a case afterwards. The decision of this particular case was only in reference of who should be properly sitting on the Board of Trustees, not as the officers of the College of Medicine or the Dean of the College of Medicine. Dr. Peter Asner, acting as a dean by virtue of authority granted in him by Southwestern University. So it only refers to the composition of the Board of Trustees of Matthias H. Asner Memorial Foundation, which is non-stock corporation, separate and distinct from Southwestern University. So whatever intramurals there is in that particular corporation has nothing to do with the College of Medicine of Southwestern University although they are the ones mandated and manage the corporation. This decision only refers to the acts of the Board of Trustees, which are considered null and void, so the court ordered to have a new election of the officers of the Board of Trustees. You will notice in the General Information Sheet 2013, Elma Sierra's group elected themselves without convening all the heirs of Don Matias H. Asnar and Donia Anonchashon Asnar, which was the judgment of the Regional Trial Court 11 SRC 199. In May 2013, Angelica Sierra ransacked and forcefully removed from the cashier's office of Southwestern University the financial records and money pertaining to the College of Medicine. On January 22, 2014, the Board of Southwestern University issued a resolution revoking the authority of Matthias H. Asner Memorial to manage the College of Medicine. On March 25, 2014, Matthias H. Asner Memorial served a notice to vacate to Southwestern University. Let's take a look at the letter. It reads, 
You are hereby directed to vacate the Southwestern University Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine Incorporated premises within 24 hours. Further, please advise your subordinates, staff, and employees to cease and desist from its business operations, particularly Mr. Andrew S. Asnar and Royal Paratroopers Investigation and Security Agency Incorporated within the Southwestern University Matthias H. Asner Memorial Building. For your strict compliance, very truly yours, Dr. Arlene M. Diaz. And if you take a look at the signature, it was signed by Dr. Alan Lebrando on behalf of Dr. Arlene Diaz. Dr. Alan Lebrando is the Assistant Dean to Matthias H. Asner Memorial College of Medicine. This next document is a board resolution and indicates to appoint Dr. Arlene Diaz as President of Southwestern University, approved by Merlo Asnar, Elmer Sierra, and Marilou Asnar. On March 31, 2014, Matthias H. Asnar Memorial filed a case before Regional Trial Court 58 for allegedly locking them out of the Southwestern University campus. On April 14, 2014, a temporary restraining order was granted by Regional Trial Court 58 in order not to jeopardize the students. On April 23, 2014, Southwestern University College of Medicine Foundation Incorporated was granted by Southwestern University the right to manage the College of Medicine. And on that same day, two things happened. The president of Southwestern University submitted to CHED Regional Office 7 and was forwarded to CHED Central Office a letter informing them of the revocation of Matthias H. Asner Memorial and in lieu of Matthias H. Asner Memorial, the appointment of Southwestern University College of Medicine Foundation Incorporated. Attorney Julito Vitrolo from CHED Central Office acknowledged that the government recognition belongs to the Southwestern University and that it is within its corporate powers of Southwestern University to carry out its purpose and to promote interest and welfare of the corporation. Here we have the CHED endorsement as a requirement to register in Securities and Exchange Commission. On May 2, 2014, the Regional Trial Court 58 denied Matthias H. Asnar Memorial's prayer for writ of preliminary injunction. As explained by the judge, it says, A preliminary injunction is proper only when the plaintiff appears to be entitled to the relief demanded in his complaint. And in the same breath, he says, As such bailey, it is bound to surrender the property at any time the bailer, Southwestern University, demands its return. On June 9, 2014, Ched and Bonk issued Resolution No. 3232014. Now this is an 11-page document, but I'll only highlight the important parts. And as you can see, even Ched recognizes many times in the resolution document that the government recognition belongs to Southwestern University. In June 2014, Matthias H. Asner Memorial filed a petition for the certiorari before the Court of Appeals. Now, for those of you who don't know, a writ of certiorari is a case filed in the court and is intended for the correction of errors of jurisdiction only or grave abuse of discretion amounting to lack or excess of jurisdiction. On April 23, 2015, Finma Corporation acquires 57% of Southwestern University. Control over Southwestern University formally transferred from the Asnar family, who held it for 64 years, to Finma Corporation. Six executives from Finma were elected to the board of directors, with Dr. Chito Salazar gaining the chairmanship. Finma Corporation, part of the 1.9 billion pesos needed to purchase 56.83% of Southwestern University's capital stock. That accounts for 17,201 shares. On May 12, 2015, the Court of Appeals denied Matthias H. Asner Memorial's petition for certiorari and affirmed the orders of Regional Trial Court 58, denying their prayer for writ of preliminary injunction. In June 2015, Ched and Bonk issued a cease and desist order against Southwestern University College of Medicine, Incorporated. The cease and desist order was ordered to the name Southwestern University College of Medicine, Incorporated, and not Southwestern University. They are two separate entities. 
The students are enrolled in the university, not to Southwestern University College of Medicine, Incorporated. The university remains open and will continue accepting medical students. Southwestern University will defend before the proper court and its right to operate its medical program.